and who has got the belief. Maybe, Mara, if you have to pick a favourite at the moment, Geraview has got a fantastic turn of speed. We see some fantastic distance races in India every year, and Geraview ran 59.11 in the brilliant Delhi Half Marathon way back in 2014. It's an indication that he's got good speed in his legs. He was just outside the top 10 in the 10,000 metres five years ago in Beijing, and he's been right on the leader's shoulders all the way through. He would love to upgrade his second place finish from last year to glory and number one this year. Maybe, maybe this is destined to be Garamu's day. If it is, he's putting himself in exactly the right position to strike. Absolutely. He's run a really smart race, letting others do the hard work at the front, just tucking in there. So second here last year, second in Doha, would be great to see him on, on top of the podium, but I think of all these, of these four, I think... 3.36, finishing third in Berlin last year. Katata might fancy the job here, he's been the one to inject the pace. Jeremy's definitely gone, he's going to have to work hard to hang on for fourth place. So who is going to have the sprint finish here? It's Kitata, it's Lemma, it's Kip Chumba. Will it be an Ethiopian or a Kenyan on top of the podium? If it's a Kenyan, it's not the one we were expecting. It's not going to be Elian Kipchoge's day. It's a three-way battle for the line. Kip Chumba's trying to pull away from Kitata, using those long legs, but Kitata's not finished. What a race, what a finish. It's Kenya against Ethiopia. The scalp of Elian Kipchoge lies in wait for one of these men. And it's Shura Kitata. The time is an irrelevance. But what a win and what a way to do it. Kipchoge second. Cite Lever third. What a race. Real heart there from Kitata. When the taller figure from Kenya went past him, you thought it was a definitive strike. But the tiny Ethiopian was not to be beaten. Seconds two years ago, it's all gold today for Kitata. On an afternoon where we've seen Elliot Kipchoge dethroned in the most spectacular fashion. We're still waiting for the Olympic champion and the world record holders to cross the line. Good run from Kipchoge, it really was the second place, building on that momentum he displayed in Amsterdam last year. Here comes the man who has so often dominated all before him. All great champions have their off days, and today it was Elliot Kipchoge's turn to find out that it doesn't always go according to plan in the marathon. He won't make excuses. He's a man of immense courage and dignity, and we will see great days from Kipchoge again in the future. But this was the day he was to be denied. And it's Shura Kitata, the 24-year-old, who reigns supreme two years after finishing second to Kipchoge. He's come out on top.